Hello guys and welcome back to Camp Cretaceous Season 3 News. Yes, I know, it's just been a day since I uploaded a theory video. But now I'm here back again and what a day to be Jurassic fan. Oh my god, we got new screenshots from the season itself and oh, they are really good. And I must say, I was just finishing up my theory video of Does Yas Die and as I uploaded, I saw that the screenshot popped up on Twitter and I was like, where did they come from? And guess what? Here they are. So let's break them down. So the first picture we see is them getting away from the island. So not something special, but it's really cool to see how they've aged. So that would mean that time has definitely passed. And then we see Brooklyn and Yasmina hand gliding and they look happy. And I know they are being chased right now, but I think this is aftermath of the chase scene. And Yasmina and Brooklyn are still gliding, and they're just smiling at each other. And this might be their bonding scene, where they actually start to bond, they start to become friends. Because as we know, they haven't been good friends with each other. And remember how I theorized that Yaz was running from a dinosaur and it was E-750? Well, now we have some more clearance on that, that Yasmina does survive that chase, and Darius founds her in this screenshot shows that Darius has a tablet of sorts and you can see Yasmina has gotten dirtier which would mean this is after when E750 drags her back and then somehow Darius saves her and you can see they're both still scared of what stands in front of them but it's weird how they have a tablet this might be something related to Manticore but then this shot of Ben riding Bumpy so Bumpy is alive but Ben is now an elf of the Ankylosaurus and this gives us the confirmation that Bumpy is still alive My boy Bumpy is alive and this scene right here why is Ben so happy and I think this is right before we see this shot of the other five standing in front of the helicopter. Now at first glance this could be the helicopter that receives the beacon signal and you can definitely see there's someone in a lab coat and it looks like it's Dr. Wu. I mean clearly all signal says that this is Dr. Wu and it would make sense because before Indoraptor was even created Scorpius Rex was there so Dr. Wu would have gone back to the island to get E750 but what if E750 dies in front of Dr. Wu then Dr. Wu gets back to the Lockwood Manor and then he sends out other mercenaries to get the Indominus Bone so he can create Indoraptor which was somewhat like the Scorpius Rex because Scorpius Rex does kind of resemble Indoraptor in some sort but what if if this is supposed to be Dr. Wu then this would be the cliffhanger ending or this would take part in the mid-season in maybe after the fifth episode we'll see the aftermath of the rain scene and the kids are celebrating then they see this helicopter come up they're like oh my god and then they find out this is manticore and it could be that dr Wu is also with the team and comes with them to get scorpius rex there can be all sorts of possibility of what this could be i feel like it's going to be really cool to watch how this plays out now i'm really intrigued as well and yeah oh my god we got new screenshots so guys what do you think about these screenshots and this will have to wrap up the video you know the drill like the video leave a comment subscribe to my channel and as always i will see you next time bye for now